This is IBM Museum, and I've been working with connecting up the iOmega zip drives through a PCMCA, or later on the standard was the PC card. Those are those little adapters that go typically in the laptop computers. This actually is an Adaptec PC card, and as you can see by the labeling on there, it is that PC card, not, not the PCMCA interface, although they look very similar. And for this model, I've got some cables and I kind of had to come up with a little bit of assembly. This does have a detachable cable. This is the most common version that I've seen out there that goes into the Centronics 50 pin interface and I had to come up with a little bit of a convoluted arrangement just to get it to a connect connection that I could use and I'm using the Centronics 50 pin switch box instead of this you know convoluted thing I have on my tweener for dealing with the plus drive now this is the iOmega SCSI model although I could also do a very similar setup with using it for the, the SCSI auto detect feature and have it connected up the same basic way. But let's go through. I'm using this connector on the switch box. This is actually labeled as the A connector with the back of the switch box facing me. And I don't really necessarily have to clip in the latches or anything like that. And I've got the zip drive effectively backwards as well on this. I do have it screen captured. I have an external keyboard for the, for the laptop being rotated around like this. And I can go through and switch screens as I go through and plug that into the laptop range. So you can see that, that uh, the, the card slots basically um, where I'm going to put the adapter. So let's go through, we're going to plug in, we'll go through and plug in the zip drive. We do have the power indicators. It does have a disc in there right now. And I'll go through and I'll switch over to the capture of the laptop screen. And we'll go through and I'll plug this in To the bottom slot we can see it recognized and hot to see since I do have the the zip drive powered up and the SCSI is in a sense a hot swappable but I'll have to see how it will recognize that effectively that um, uh, a device on the SCSI chain in the occasion where that adapter is is plugged in. Now it does identify it here as a as a uh, slim SCSI 16-bit PCMCA SCSI host adapter even though it said PC card on it talked about being a fast SCSI adapter. Let's go through and see if we do have this Okay, and I did hear the, it just taking a little bit more time for, apparently for accessing the, the drive being there. And there it shows up as that removable disk E. This is Windows 2000, you know, going through on this, on this operating system and it shows the contents of that disk I have in the drive. Now, I'm going to go through and I'll, I'll actually eject the, the disk. I'm going to briefly just switch back to the camcorder view just to show the other, uh, what I had come in otherwise. And so this is a 
zip 250 and it, um, I guess I should hold it right side up to get that nice lettering there. And it's a zip drive from iOmega. It's, uh, it, of course, it's sternal in this form factor. And I, you know, this model, of course, is the 100 meg megabyte uh, capacity disk. This can read those 100 megabyte disk and also um, a higher format, higher level format of the 250 megabyte zip disk. And this is the interfaces and power connection on the back. It's got power connection. It's got a USB type B and we can go through and check out that angle. And then it's got this really odd connector and that's a 50 pin and the interface that it connects to. And I don't know if there was things iMac or anything like that that had that sort of interface. I need to figure out what this interface exactly is because this is uh, the primary form that I've seen that, um, that adapt to that. And this is actually molded into this PCMCA adapter. And it's labeled on there as PCMCA. And the Zip 250. And it's got that, fi that 50 pin connector. I mean, it's... Ultimately, it looks like a little Centronics connection. I don't know if this is necessarily a proprietary form of kind of a SCSI interface itself or the ATAPI that I've, you know, I've got those internal ATPI, ATAPI uh, drives, zip drives working with over USB with that little, um, with um, uh, an adapter. A USB adapter on a previous video but I want to go through and you know I could I can go through and see if this drive works we can go through and test it on this strange interface and then we can also test it on the the uh, USB interface as well now as I understand it I think there's a later model that doesn't have to necessarily use the um, the the power adapter and that's this connection this this um this adapter and i'd even have to check for like the um the voltage on it see if we don't get too much shine so this is five volts and 1.5 amps max or 7.5 watts and i mean that would be perfectly capable to do it over um to usb power uh for that amperage um but maybe you know in the laptop configuration they don't necessarily want to where you draw that much power over usb and have it to where um, you know, you could damage something or things like that, um, or it would just drain the, the laptop power a little bit quicker. Uh, I'll go through, I can probably undo this zip tie because I'm going to need to lengthen this thing out a little bit as I go through and work with it. And I mean, that looks like a factory wrap on that twist tie, so... And earlier I did go through, I, I don't believe this is a new drive, but I had to, I went through and I did the, uh, the peel of the protection of that little plastic window. And of course I could have left that in place. You don't necessarily have to look at the disc or to see that a disc is in the drive, but I'll go through and I'll plug that into power. We hear it, um, rev up here and I'm not going to go through and eject the SCSI uh, adapter, the adapter, uh, SCSI adapter. Uh, you, with Windows 3000, you get a warning for that, of course. But let's go through. We're going to switch back. I'm, I'm ready to go through and plug this in. Let's go through and switch back to the computer. And we will go through and plug in. Okay. 
Okay. And we see that, and it, it identifies it there as ATAPI, like I with the 100 megabyte ATP API um, drives to go through and adapt them to USB. So now we know what that interface is. And that could still have a, uh, an interface. You don't typically see that external on a computer. Um, interesting enough, I do have another uh, PC card from IBM that goes through and does IDE over that connection. And I think that was like it for external uh, CD-ROM design. But we saw things being recognized and everything. We'll go through, we'll, we'll put the, the disk. I realize I'm only on, that you can only see me on the webcam of my recording system. And I hear it spin up. Okay, and we don't hear any clicks at least. Um, and it's gone through, and remember that E should be the, the 100 megabyte SCSI connection that we have. And then this F is a new 250 megabyte. And there we see the contents of that drive. So this is, you know, just two ways to go through and to get a zip drive connected through those PCMCA or PC card. Now let's go through, um, I can go through and I can actually do an eject. Just we'll get the, the PC cards and PCMCA card ejected here, just so when we worked with the USB side that we know, um, that we're using that effectively. Okay, so we went through and right clicking on, and you saw how that I selected the, for the, which one I wanted to jack, that's the top one. Let's go through, let's also do the SCSI adapter. The Adaptic SCSI adapter. And it's kind of funny that, um, of this, which is under one of the bays as being ejectable as well. And I think that's where you could have a battery instead on this one. I don't necessarily have to go through and disconnect the this integrated assembly of the all that. And again, this is mold that connector is fully molded into that. And I mean, I can understand this makes it a single use adapter for these zip drives. And let's go through and let's look at the USB. I still have power connected to this. We'll go through and do the USB. I got a nice little short USB connector. And I need to go through and I think there's just a couple USB ports on this. And it's actually not close to... Uh, this side of the laptop. Let me go through and switch over to the screen capture. And we will plug in, you know, USB, you always have to get it. You try it the first time for one orientation and it doesn't work. And so you flip it around to the other side to try the other orientation and it doesn't work that way and then you figure out that you had it aligned right. So we see that USB zip 250 identifier come up. We still have the disk in the drive.
Okay, and our little USB icon. And I've tried these on relatively new systems as well, you know, Windows 10. And I was even able to get that, um, that AT API drive that I converted the 100 megabyte to with that USB interface to work on Windows 10. I go through, even with it in particular on the uh, Windows XP, like I showed on the video, that I, I go through and I have a disk in the drive because it, the OS for those older operating systems, and Windows 2000, Windows XP included, wants to read that, that disk first as it identifies the drive over those methods. And so here we have this removable disk E. It's gone through and removed, of course, the other interfaces for those. And there's the content of the drive. So this was kind of a nice, informative video for, for all that of, of these uh, drives in that PCMCA and PC card interfaces. We learned even what that um, iOmega connection that um, the adapter is for, in this case, with that, with that 250 megabyte drive, that it's actually AT API underneath all that. So this is informative enough. And if you enjoy this content, go ahead and click on that like button, please. And subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Recommend it to your friends that are interested in this sort of content so they can subscribe too. And that would be great. But this is IBM Museum. That's all I have for now. Thank you.